so you, uh, you you make a an open face cut, which is kind of like a uh, obtuse angle. Um, and it's, it's fairly shallow; it doesn't go into the tree very far. So you have a, a lot of space between the back of the tree and the you know, kind of inside angle. And then what you do is you take the bar on the side like that and plunge it in just behind where you've made that open face. So you leave what's called a hinge. And then you back the bar out and leave just a little piece of wood on the back, it's called the trigger, and the whole tree will sit on that hinge and trigger kind of indefinitely. Using a wedge helps to prevent the tree from tipping backwards or sitting down on the bar of your saw if the tree is leaning in the opposite direction you want it to fall. By placing a wedge on either side of the trigger, you can hold the tree in place while you cut the trigger, then drive a third wedge in to tip the tree over. And then whenever you're ready for the tree to fall, you come and just cut the back at that, that trigger. And the reason that it's safe is what kind of the traditional way of cutting is you make your open face cut and then you come in and start cutting from the back. And you're always looking up, you know, waiting for the tree to start going. And so that's just, you kind of re relieve the whole stress factor of, you know, is the tree going, is it going, is it going, and having to look up and down because it'll just sit there like that. And then the other thing, by cutting out all the inner wood and just having the tree sitting on two pieces like that, is you prevent what's called barber chairing, and that's where if there's a lot of lean on the tree and you're doing a, a back cut, the tree sometimes can just suddenly go and it snaps further up from where you're cutting mm -hmm. and the back side of the tree comes flying back. And So by taking all of that tension out of there, it completely prevents the opportunity for barber chairing.